Every curious mind has lots of unanswered questions about our universe and celestial bodies. So, let's begin the question answer session. If I want to be an astronomer, which courses should I take up or which education should I pursue? I would suggest that the, the best education is to be good in physics. Go through a very strong undergraduate program in physics. Uh, a master's in physics and uh, and then you move on to become a, a researcher in astronomy as an astronomer but there are others uh, who also come from the side of uh, engineering because astronomy builds some of the most uh, sensitive instrumentation ever and so there are a lot of electrical engineers who and uh, electrical engineers opticians who moved into astronomy but I would say that uh, the, the most common way would be to become a good physicist and, and become an astronomer. Uh, I would like to add that these days astronomy, I mean, it was always a very multidisciplinary science. Okay, so physics is certainly one thing. Uh, a good knowledge of, and it's a vast subject. It's a huge subject. You approach it from all sorts of points of view. Your uh, cell phone camera, you know, owes its, uh, owes its existence to astronomy. Uh, the charge couple device that your camera uses, uh, you know, it was originally created for uh, telescopes, you know. So that's one thing, you know, instrumentation, very, very sophisticated instrumentation for which you have I mean, to build and um, design which you need to be a pretty good engineer. Okay, that's one thing. That apart, you know, chemistry, you need to understand a lot of chemistry which I know very little about, I'm an astronomer, but I, I live in my little corner, okay, and biology these days, you know, to understand life and origins of life. So one can approach astronomy from various angles. You generally need to have a fairly good grounding in physics, there's no, and mathematics, okay, applied mathematics. That's, uh, but, um, you know, uh, people with uh, slightly diverse backgrounds these days have, uh, you know, very niche and very important uh, roles to play in astronomy these days. People with chemistry backgrounds. Uh, I said also biology. Biology mm -hmm. backgrounds, yeah. So, Atmospheric sciences. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So astronomy, another way, one way I, what I find fascinating is that it's at the same time both an applied physics subject and a basic fundamental physics subject. Some of the questions you ask are actually answering very, very fundamental uh, questions in physics. At the same time, it has the feel of an applied you understand the difference between a, a basic science and an applied science? So this is one of those fields which, because of its vast uh, range of topics, it's, it's definitely an applied physics subject. But at the same time, you're asking some really fundamental questions about our understanding of physics itself. Uh, because, of, because the universe is a large-scale laboratory, the kind of which you would never find on Earth. So you can ask questions which you would never be able to answer on Earth. And that is related to basic physics.